Hello and welcome to MidnightSilverCrafters.com. My name is Steve and I'll be your host. Today in this video, we're going to build this super hot forced air furnace burner. It's hot. I mean, it's really hot. All right, we're out in the shop here. I'm over here at my at my bench, my jeweler's bench. But today, what we're going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about building this super hot forced air burner for for uh, building the furnace. Okay. Now. Uh, this burner right here is absolutely insanely hot, okay? Um, I, I do a lot of casting. Um, I, I do a lot of jewelry casting. And um, I do a lot, of, a lot of bronze and copper. And if you know anything about melting metal, you know you need a lot of heat to melt uh, copper and bronze that I cast is mostly uh, copper so I needed a lot of heat and I wanted something that would uh, melt my silver down really fast because I, I, I run a lot of production I do um, I do lost wax casting and jewelry casting and I run a lot of molds and I and I needed a furnace that would melt my silver down really really fast okay and give me enough heat that I needed so I I came up with this burner I I did a lot a lot of experiments on just about every type of burner you can imagine over about five years of time of all my experimenting this is the hottest and the absolute best burner that I've came up with and this burner right here it, it's amazing for two reasons number one it can get super super hot and number two it sips the fuel I mean you'll be you'll be amazed at how little fuel this burner uses it's just absolutely amazing but uh what, what this is, this is a forced air burner, okay? And you can see right here on this end of it, there's a little fitting that plugs into your, uh, your air compressor. All right, now this is a, this is a propane burner. This, this runs on propane. All right, now you can build this thing real, real easy to build. Uh, you know, if you have any tools, uh, and you know how to build anything at all you can you can build this for really really cheap all right but now what this is this this burner right here okay this is a this is a modified harbor freight weed burner okay that's what that's what this is this is just this is just a, a needle valve right here okay but it's built into this, you, you go to Harbor Freight and you get this uh, weed burner, all right, and and this this comes with your, uh, your airline right here, okay, your, not your airline, but your, uh, your propane, you know, it has your hose and everything, so you get everything you need with this weed burner, and all you do it's, this thing is really, uh, really self-explanatory. It's, it's really, really simple. But all this is is, a, is a, this. The, you get this weed burner right here, okay? And you measure up from the top of this joint right here, where this uh, needle valve is. Okay, you measure up about. Uh, I'm just gonna say about two and a half inches two to two and a half inches and you just cut that straight off okay you cut this off right here this uh this tubing I, I believe this is brass this brass tubing right here 
All right, and you just cut that off. All right, now what this is? This is just a this is a, a one inch uh, outside diameter uh, steel pipe. That's all it is. Okay, this pipe is. Uh, you can make it longer if you want. It, mine's uh, mine's 16 inches. Uh, you can make it longer, but I wouldn't make it shorter. This this end right here just goes straight into your uh, your burn chamber on your furnace, right here. This this goes right into your furnace. Okay, so about 16 to 8 inches. 18, 16 to 18 inches on this piece of pipe, okay. And then uh, after after you get this piece of pipe, okay, what you're going to do, you're just going to get a, a, a coupling right here that that'll screw onto this pipe, okay. It's it's really simple. Just go down to the hardware store or. Lowe's or Home Depot and you just get you get you this piece of uh, one inch uh, outside diameter pipe a coupling and then you just get this uh, fitting right here it'll screw it screws into the coupling and this is a reducer it goes down to this quarter inch thread and you just thread you a ch uh, air air chuck Right, right, right here. You just uh, do an air chuck right into that reducer. All right, and that, and that is it. That's that's all there is to building this burner. It's it's stupid simple to build this burner. All right, and and when you run this, you're gonna put this line onto here. And that goes to your your 20 pound propane uh, tank. And you're going to put your air hose right on the end here from your compressor. Now this thing doesn't require a lot of air. Okay, you can you can run this thing on just about any compressor. Normally you can you can if you're doing something like aluminum or something like that, you can run this thing on like 10 pounds of air, and it and it, it is fine. Okay, now. If you really want some heat, you can crank that air up, okay? Like if you're melting copper or bronze or something, you just crank that air up. And you, if you run about uh, 30 or 40 pounds of pressure through this right here, this thing will get absolutely insanely hot. I mean, you, you'll have to see this to believe it. This thing gets hot. All right, now right here where this where this uh, tubing right here goes in, what you want to do on this coupling right here, you want to you want to drill you a hole through here. That's exact exact fit fit to this right here. So get your get your calipers out and measure that. All right, measure that right there. And, and pick a drill bit that's exact because you want a, a you want a tight fit because what you got to do is you want to you want to put this right in that hole and it's not sticking in real deep it's it's just a little bit through through the edge here it doesn't go it doesn't go way back in there it just barely comes through this edge but that joint right there, you want to grind that down and sand that down, and you want to you want to braze that. Okay, now you you can braze that, or you, you can silver solder that. But it's it's absolutely critical that this joint is either soldered in with with some good silver solder or brazed. Okay, now I I braze this in. And then I and I just take I put some JB weld over this just as, as an added uh, you know just as an added kind of like a little bit of a gusset right here to give this to strengthen this just you know just a little bit but I mean once you braise it, it it's not really it's not coming out but I just put this JB weld over mine for added 
added a little bit of added strength. All right, but um, that's it. That's your burner. Now this thing comes with a with a uh, like a handle right here. Okay, that's on this where you can push that down. Well, that you don't need that to run this furnace. So just take that right off. It's just a little bitty. Just a little bitty nut right here. Just unscrew that nut. Take that handle off, because you're not gonna you're not gonna be needing that handle. All right. Now that is it. I mean, this burner is dead simple, and it is absolutely incredible. Now you can run a bigger furnace on this, um, but but what you know what I do is. Um, I do jewelry casting and uh, this is my this is a size crucible that I use okay now I don't know what you might want to cast with this but for jewelry if you want to cast jewelry this is this is a perfect size crucible now I can get I can get about 15 ounces of silver melted into this this crucible about 15 or 16 ounces no problem okay and that's a good bit of silver if when you're casting jewelry or if you cast in aluminum or something else and you want you want to you know cast some small stuff uh this this size crucible is good now you can build your furnace out of whatever you want to build it you can build it out of fire bricks you can build it out of uh, ko wool uh, you can make your own refractory, but um, I, I got a video that's already up on my on my jewelry furnace. All right, now I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go show you my jewelry furnace. It's right over here. All right. So, uh, and I got a video up on on how to build this jewelry furnace, I, the refractory and everything. So let's take a look. At, at my, uh, I call it my mixing bowl furnace. So let's take a look at that real quick. All right, now there, there it is. There, there's my mixing bowl furnace. You see, there's, there's my, uh, my one inch pipe, and just going, just going in, straight into the side of that bowl. That's my burn chamber. Now this isn't, this furnace is real old. I, I built this furnace a long time ago, and. It's still running and it's still working just absolutely beautiful. I use this furnace every single day out here casting jewelry. But there's there's my pipe. Now you see there's my my this was one of my original builds a long time ago and it looks, you know, a little bit wacky on the end there, but it's it's the same thing as what I just showed you. I just I, on here I had a little piece of pipe and I uh, I brazed that up and I, but I put some tape on there just to you know just to make sure everything was good and sealed and everything where I wouldn't get any air leaks. Okay, now uh, this pipe right here. Okay, if you make your pipe about 18 inches long coming out of there, this this whole side does not down here does not get hot whatsoever because see it's away from the heat see so you want it you want you don't want to put this this real close up here to the heat you want it but see I got that's just electrical tape and it's been on there for a couple years at least and it's not even hasn't even started to melt see it doesn't even get hot at all but there it is now you see this is just a this is just a 10 quart mixing bowl that's all this thing is and there's my there's my same crucible now i i highly recommend that you get this type of crucible do not get any type of uh clay graphite crucible uh don't get any of those they they just will not hold up now you can see mine right here. I've been using this crucible right here. I know I've poured. Uh, I'm going to say I've poured close to a hundred, maybe more, with this one crucible. 
And I know that might be hard to believe, but you look on the inside and it's still clean. All right, but the but the thing about this crucible is this is a a ceramic silica okay crucible is what it is. I, I think I got a new one over here. This is what it looks like. It's a, it's a it's a slip casted ceramic silica crucible now that's what you want to get all right now now what i do to mine i i got i came up with a coating all right and i i got this coating i i came up with it and it's absolutely crazy insane as far as um the heat that it can take and what i do with it i coat my crucibles with it okay and it makes them last pretty much forever. All right. I'm going to do a whole separate video on how you make that coating. It's, it's dead simple to make. Um, uh, it, it, you, you make it with water glass, uh, sodium silicate, and you take some uh, ceramic floor tiles and you crush them up. I'll, I'll show you the recipe and everything on how to make that coating, but... I coat my crucibles with that and I also line my inside of my furnace, my furnace wall, I line my furnace walls with that, with that coating. And it, let me tell you, you see this right here, this has been running for, I don't know, at least three years, three or four years, and it's not, and it's not even cracked. That's because of that refractory that I use. And uh, but if you watch my other video on on this mixing bowl furnace, I show I cover that refractory mix in that video. So you can uh, you know you can you can use that refractory mix. It, it, it's a uh, fire clay, uh, perlite, and uh, uh, silica sand and sodium silicate is what is what that refractory is made out of. But now, like this burner, I, I got a bigger furnace out back, and it's 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 probably twice the size of of this. In fact, this bowl right here, this stainless steel bowl right here, <coughs> that is the size of my burn chamber on my bigger furnace that I got sitting out back, and it's like its furnace is identical to this. But this is the size of the burn chamber, and you can see the size crucible that'll fit down in there. Now, see this 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 little furnace here. See this crucible just fits right down in there, and that's the burn chamber. But the whole trick to mountain metal fast and efficient and le using less fuel is you want your burn chamber to be just about the same size as your crucible that's why with this one i got a I got a crucible that just fits right down in here all right and that's the side and it's not my burn chamber is not real big okay now you see how small of a burn chamber i got on this but this is just a 10 quart mixing bowl it's dead simple this whole furnace you can build this whole furnace for probably it used to be a hundred bucks. Everything's went up now. You know, everything, everything's just going through the roof in prices. But probably build this for less than a hundred and fifty now. But there you go. All right, now, there, now you can build you a, a furnace, really cheap. It'll get insane. I mean, it will get insanely hot. You run forty pounds of pressure through that through the end of that burner with your air compressor and I'll tell you what that thing will get absolutely insanely hot and all you need for a lid is I just use a fire brick I just use that's all I use all right I use fire bricks and I just I I put my crucible in there and I put my lid down and I'm good to go but uh, like I said, I've been running this for 
I don't know. I think four years, maybe maybe longer. It's been a long time, but it's just amazing. And that's my that's my same burner, original burner, and it's lasted. But uh, I decided, even though it's still working 100% perfect, I decided I'm just going to change this burner out with a new one, just so that I know I got a new, you know, a new burner. Because I figure four years of running, you know, I definitely, absolutely got my money's worth on this one. But all right, well, now if you're new to the channel. I would really uh, appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. Uh, what what this channel is really all about is um, I do I do jewelry casting. I do lost wax casting. Now sitting right here, there's my there's my homemade there's my homemade uh, casting table. I cover all this. I got videos covering all this. If you wanna if you wanna get into lost wax. And you want to do some jewelry casting or, or just lost wax casting in general. Uh, you can cast bigger items. I, I cast some real pretty good size items. I, I cast chest sets and uh, I, I got some uh, jewelry hammers that I'm making. And it's, uh, they're all aluminum. The, the handle and everything is aluminum. And they're all casted. And I do it with lost wax. My patterns are all wax. But I don't want to ramble, but there's my there's my homemade casting table. And sitting right next to it, there's my homemade burnout oven with the just a hot plate with that same refractory I got in my furnace there. Boy, this this burnout oven, you can build it cheap too. I mean it's it's amazing and it's real good. Uh it bur I burned out hundreds hundreds and hundreds of molds right there in that one little burnout oven. Alright, but uh, I, I do silversmithing as well and uh, I teach that on my channel also. Um, I make a lot of jewelry. I, I sell a lot of jewelry. I, I do um, handmade, uh, you know, all hand, handmade silversmithing, uh, just all types of jewelry. Uh, but I've been doing all this stuff for many, many years. And, uh, you know, that's just what I do, and I love doing it, and I do it every day, and I do it for a living. But, all right, well, I don't want to start rambling too much, but um, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I, I really would uh, appreciate it. And I hope you do subscribe to my channel, because if you do, I, I think you can really learn a whole lot. Uh, you know, I, I just, I work out here in my garage and stuff. And, you know, I mean, I got all my equipment out here. I got my rolling mill and, you know, I just got my little middle jewelry shop out here set up. I got, got my wax injector over there and I do stone cutting too and everything. There's my, there's my, my big saw for slabbing stones. And then way over there, if you can see, that's my, that's my homemade uh, lapidary setup for for cabin stones and everything. And but yeah, I just I work out here in the garage, and uh, that's you know that's what I do. So um, I would love to have you as a subscriber to my channel. Um, it would just it would just be fantastic if you would subscribe. I, I think you're going to really learn a lot. Okay, and uh, if you would. Uh, if you would just do me one big favor, if you do uh, decide to just uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you do me one little favor and just go down there to the comment section and uh, write me a little comment and put down there, I subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic. I would really appreciate that and it would really help me out a lot. Uh, as far as growing this channel because I want to keep making more videos, but um, Yeah, uh, my channel's growing and I'm, I'm real excited about it and I, I'm going to be making videos uh, More and more often, you know, the more uh, the more subscribers I get You know the more uh, the more videos I'll make because I'll, I'll probably just end up uh, I'll probably just end up hiring maybe a couple more people 
uh, you know, to help out with all my other work that I got going. And then uh, I'll be able to work more on making YouTube videos. But uh, please do subscribe because the more subscribers I get, the more videos I'll be able to make. And I really, uh, I really like sharing my knowledge, okay? And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just really hoping that you've found this uh, helpful. But uh, if you wanna, if you wanna build a good hot furnace for real cheap, build, build that burner, get that burner. Now, I do have those burners available. If you can't build one, or you don't have the time to build one, I've got the whole burner assembly already put together and uh, braised up and everything, and I got it on my website for sale. Sorry about that. Got a lawnmower going by, but I uh, got it on my website for sale, and that's uh, that's midnightsilvercrafters.com. So uh, go, you know, go to my website and uh, sign up. Take a look. Take a look around. I got a lot of information. And a lot of great products for, um, you know, everything that we're doing and talking about on this channel. So, yeah, uh, I, I guess I'm going to end it here. Um, well, it's been fun. My name's Steve, and I'll talk to you in the next video.